So, in music production, you generally want the best type of CPU you can get for your budget if you are building a PC. So, the most amount of cores and the highest possible clock speed you can afford. Talking about AMD, recently AMD revealed some details about their upcoming Ryzen 7000 processors that is coming out fall of this year. And apparently they will release also a 16-core CPU that is capable of clocks well over 5 GHz on regular cooling in single threaded tasks. So AMD claims that the Ryzen 7000 series will have up to 15% more single threaded performance compared to the Zen 3 uh, architecture available today. That may potentially be uh, something that's good for music producers. Uh, I have used Ableton Live with a uh, Zen 3 system, that's a Ryzen 9 3900X, for about two years now. Generally, in my projects, I had about, well, 20, 30 tracks with different synthesizers and samples, and in my experience, this have worked pretty good. Good. I haven't really had any major issues with the system. I have a lot of videos on my channel where you can check different tests I have been doing on amount of tracks, things like that. So just take a look at my channel, search for Ryzen and you will find them. With that said though, I'm moving to Mac OS and Logic for music production nowadays and I have a video on my channel explaining why, so you can check it out if you want. But the short answer is it's not because of AMD or Intel, it's just Microsoft and Windows. I'm just having enough of uh, of Windows really and uh, that's not really a CPU or AMD's fault so but the upcoming CPUs from AMD they look really interesting in terms of performance and um, I would like to build a system based on that for testing purposes and and gaming of course because gaming on a Mac is not really really that interesting. The Ryzen uh, 7000 series would probably be a really good gaming system as well. My storage server where I store my YouTube videos is also a Ryzen based system as well and uh, it's not giving me any issues at all. Even though a lot of plugins nowadays and DAW support multi-core CPUs, there are probably still some heavy orchestral libraries that rely more on good single core performance and that 15% increase in single core performance on the Ryzen 7000 series will surely help. I don't think you will do a bad choice basing a new system on the Ryzen 7000 CPUs for music production but with that said there are some new technologies released as well uh, a new socket named AM5 so to build a new system you need a new motherboard you need DDR5 memory and you're going for PCI Express 5. The technologies really have to get proven and if you do this gig this music production as your main income you may want to wait a while for tests and other people's experiences before you jump in and just build a new system without having any reviews. You could build a new system and run it alongside your current one uh, for a while to make sure it works well if that's something that's inside your budget. So that's a little talk about the Ryzen 7000 series, a upcoming new high performance CPU from AMD. I'm sure I'm going to make new videos when the actual CPU is released. So what are you producing on today and are you planning to do some changes to your production environment? Let me know in the comments below. Take care and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.